there's a, a huge number of things that are attractive about the Indian market. Uh, for our business, we're focused on uh, Android users, and specifically emerging market Android users. And, and frankly, there, um, with the exception of China, there is no bigger market than India when it comes to, uh, to smartphone adoption. And, uh, and I believe India is also the, the fastest, has the fi fastest rate of adoption right now for smartphones than, than any other country. Um, you know, it went from under 100 million people using smartphones just a few years ago to now over 200 million. And I believe that uh, you know, within tw by 2020, uh, the number of smartphone users are going to be um, you know, at least equal to the number of users of feature phones, uh, which means you're talking about half a billion people. And, uh, and when you start thinking about numbers at that scale, lots of really exciting opportunities become possible. When you kind of fast forward a few years, um, you can start extrapolating kind of how these growth trends are, are moving. Uh, by 2020, uh, you know, as I said, we're expecting to have probably half a billion, probably mostly Android users uh, in India and, and likely close to two and a half billion Android users uh, living in these emerging markets. Um, ultimately, what that's going to mean is that uh, it's going to create like this new set of uh, audiences that advertisers have access to that going to transcend the kind of traditional 1950s style advertising channels like television, radio, or billboards. Uh, and so what I think advertising may look like in 2020 is going to be something that's much more targeted, much more personalized, and ultimately much more inclusive in terms of bringing in this kind of emerging middle class that uh, heretofore hasn't really been kind of the focal point for advertisers. When I talk to our uh, clients in India, and, and frankly, in, in globally, um, one of the important things that I think is uh, critical to emphasize is the importance of transparency. You know, when you're make, buying advertisements, um, you have to be able to know who you're ultimately targeting uh, and, and you know, for, further down the funnel, what the ultimate efficacy of those ads were. Um, this is challenging, especially in the era of ad networks where when you, you buy an ad and then it goes into this black box and you never really are certain who's actually seeing that ad and, and ultimately what, what comes about. So I think uh, one of the things that we really try to emphasize with our clients is the importance of first party data. Meaning, uh, you know, advertising with companies that ultimately own their own audience rather than these kind of aggregate networks. Uh, and when you kind of, when you have that first party data, uh, then you are able to kind of guarantee that the ad is being viewed by the person you want it to be viewed by. Uh, and that makes all the difference.